Hello everyone, my name is Christian Geiler. I'm working for the Schuko Europe North organization. Welcome to my home office. Have you ever noticed working with Schukal, sometimes it feels a little bit slow? That is probably because you have a lot of projects working uh, for years with Schukal and the amount of data is getting bigger and bigger. You don't necessarily want to buy a new computer every year. So today I would like to show you how you could speed up Schukal by just doing some archiving. We start by opening uh, Schukal. In my case, I have uh, two different configurations. One local configuration, which uh, is actually, ac uh, actually always uh, installed by the first uh, Shukal installation. And also I have a network configuration where all my uh, colleagues also can access Shukal and we can share the same projects. In this case, I first need to check uh, the size of uh, my project folder. So I uh, make sure that my active configuration is shown to the left and click on the three dots to the right. Here you can see the path to the directly for the user data. So to access this one, I click on administration. I have no password, so I click OK. And now I can easily click on the path, right click, copy. Then I open up my Windows Explorer. Click the search path and paste it. You will see all the content in this folder. This means this is all the user data, the project data, all the settings we have in the program are all uh, stored here. Available for everyone accessing the network configuration. By right clicking on the folder and, and choose uh, properties, you will see the size of this folder. And uh, normally we say, if the, the size of this product folder hits like 10 gigabyte or bigger, then you should definitely consider uh, archiving the projects. Every time you add a new product to Shokal, it will also add some information to a file cache. It's a small file in Shokal where uh, a lot of data is uh, pre-saved when you start Shokal. And the more products you have, the bigger this file gets and the slower Shokal will work. And what we want to do now is to clean up or separate older products, which I don't actually need, with uh, some uh, newer products. So I will, in my case, I've decided to make two different folders or Shukal uh, configurations. One with my recent and future projects and one with my older projects, which I don't need to access every day. So I close this and uh, I make a copy of my network folder. And this is where I have all my projects. Right click on the folder and say copy. Right click again and say paste. And now depending on how many projects you have, how big, uh, much data you have, this could take some time to copy. So make sure everyone has quit Shokal before you start copying this folder. So now we have a network folder named network copy, because this is exactly the same copy, it's ex exactly the same size as before. I right click on this one and say rename. I would now like to call it archive. I could also have one different uh, configuration for each year. This means uh, for 2015, 16, 17 and so on. But I say all my projects older than 2018 should be archived into a separate configuration. I name it archive and now I have two different uh, folders with all the subfolders, of course, if you click here. It's exactly the same content in both of those uh, configurations. So what I have to do now is to clean up those folders. In the network folder, I want to get rid of all the older projects, older than 2018. And in my archive, I want to take away all my current uh, projects and also the ones uh, newer than 2018. And I still have my network configuration up and running. So I start Shukal, then click start. You can see all my projects to the left. 
under my projects. And you see here I have from 2015 to today's date. And what I want to do now is I want to delete all the projects older than 2018. That means the folder from 2015 to 2017 I will delete manually. So I mark them and uh, right click and choose delete. And don't be afraid, you haven't deleted those projects yet. You still have them in the other folder. I say yes. So this project is now set and this configuration is all set. And uh, I then close down, shook out again. And now I want to uh, make a new configuration within Shukal called Archive. So I start Shukal. Now I hit the three small dots uh, to the right of the network configuration. Because as you see here, I only have my local configuration, my network configuration. But I need an additional one called Archive. So I hit the three dots to the right. Go into administration rights because I need to have an administration rights to be able to set up a new configuration. I don't have a password, so I click OK. And then I click here on new configuration. I call it archive. It doesn't need to be the same name as the folder I have uh, named in uh, Windows Explorer, but it makes sense in this case. I call it archive. And now it's important. I need to change the path to this folder in the Windows Explorer. And like I told you before, here you see the file is going here, but you can also go under the red arrow here and search for exactly that folder. You see it here, it's archive. I select this and say enter and apply. Okay. Now I have uh, set up the search path to the new folder where I want to have all my archive projects. You see here, all the users are the same as in the, the other configuration. That means everyone can access it as, as before. I log in to Shukal. And now I will access all my projects, all my current projects, all my older projects. It's actually the same before I even started uh, doing this archiving. And what we want to do now is uh, we want to get rid of the current projects and the projects uh, newer than two, uh, 2018. Now in, in the project folder on the left side, you see this is exactly a mirror of what we had before. But here I only want to access the older projects. So I delete the folder with the current projects and also the ones from 2019 and 2018. I hit delete or right click, select delete and take it away. So I close Shukal again and I go into the Windows Explorer. Now what we have here, this is uh, my network configuration where I can access all my products I need uh, with, uh, together with my colleagues. And I also have the ones with archive. And if we now look at the network, Configuration, the folder before was 12.3 uh, uh, gigabyte. I right click and say properties. And now it's only 4.7 uh, gigabyte. This means uh, I reduced the amount of data a lot, which will help us speed up working with Shukam. I hope you liked uh, the content and uh, if you want to know more about it or get some more information, I would uh, like you to reach out to our technical uh, advisors. If you want us to cover a specific topic, uh, please uh, let us know and give us a comment below. Also feel free to subscribe to get a uh, notification about our next upcoming video. See you next time. High five. Uh, if you need us to cover something in the future, please let us know and uh, hey. <laughs>